Hello. Hello, madam. Hi. 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 I have asked that Agatha be made the co-host. Agatha Nkrumah. Yes, sister. Hi. And let's hope they make you the co-host. Because you will be better off than me here. Okay, sister. Yes, I'm still waiting for your reactions. Of the past left, uh, lectures we've been doing. Please, so I am in the studio. So, certain corrections I cannot make. You see, that is supposed to be arrangement. And A is off. So, you can always correct it. Okay, who can tell me what seminar is? Rosemont, what did we say seminar is? We are still waiting for them to come, even though it is 11.45 now. Nobody is willing to talk? Okay, Agatha. Yes, sister. Sister, we you? said... Okay. We said a seminar is um, a class organization that uses a scientific approach um, in choosing and analyzing a, a problem for discussion. In choosing and analyzing a problem for discussion. Okay, um, what then is academic writing? Yes, Rebecca. Okay, so, uh, sister, it's academic writing is an act. At our ability to do in depth text and write with the ability to present. And write what? The ability with the ability to present. Hello? Hello? Yes, who else can add? Rosemont. Hello, sister. Yes. Please, it says the ability okay, to write. Yeah. The ability to write and making sure that what you've written is correct and you present it for correction. Thank you. Rebecca, sorry. Uh, sorry, the you said it's an in-depth library search. 
that enables an individual to write an academic paper that is independently understandable. God bless you. You see, all other contributors made their contributions, but did not put primary facts. Yes, ability to write and present a scientific paper, fine. But there is a very good content factor that is left out. And what is that factor? In-depth library search. Considerable library search. Until you are able to do a considerable library search, you will not be able to come out with facts. So whatever you write is based on the facts you got during your library search. Hello. Hi. Today, I are concerned with organization of seminar paper, arrangements of seminar paper. What is particular about the arrangement? You have done or you are doing research methodology. And in research methodology, you will be given the arrangements of your research project. Like we have here, the arrangements of seminar paper differs from that of a research project. Again, there is a repetition there. From the arrangement of the arrangement is repeated. So you will do well to expunge what is not supposed to be there. The arrangement of seminar paper is less detailed. While we have just seven items in seminar paper, in a research project, there are much more than that. Hello. Hi. So the arrangement of seminar paper is not as detailed as the arrangement of a research project. But until you know what to do, you will be in trouble. For a seminar paper, you have the cover page, which we all have. You have the title page. And then you have the table of content. That you have. The fourth item, which is the body of the work, is where you have your introduction, the objectives of what you're going to do, you have a brief literature review and other sub 
sections as required. So when you start your presentation next week, this is how you are going to arrange your paper. For those of you that will be presenting, if you go arranging it like what you were given in uh, project writing, it will become too voluminous. That one comes in chapters. This one does not come in chapters. You must have your title page after the cover page. You must have your TV content. Anybody will know what you're doing. You get into the body of the work has to do with the content. And in the body of the work, of course, having looked at it, that is where you're going to do the main thing. When, when we talk of uh, such project, for research project is usually background of study. You are talking about the uh, uh, specific objectives, the <laughs> name of the work. Janet Asana, are you still annoyed? What's the problem? <laughs> Are you okay? Is there anything you want, Janet? Please don't distract us again. Mute yourself. So like I was saying, there are a lot of things the other way, but this one, let us still confine ourselves to the um, illustrations we have been giving. If you are talking of exclusive breastfeeding, or even the topic you are going to research on, we have agreed that you use that topic for your seminar. So I don't want you to get confused. The reason why we asked you to use that same topic is because we believe that when you get into the library, you are going to fetch out facts, which is a very tedious act, to fetch out facts that will help you in the seminar and eventually in the project right? So, for the seminar presentation, out of what you have gotten, you get your introduction. You now set out your objectives. Objectives are very important because they guide you. They help you confine yourself to what you are They do not allow you to go astray. I'll mix all these ingredients together to welcome my in the middle before adding in the weight ingredients. For the weight ingredients, I'll add the milk. Eunice, are you giving a lecture to someone? Eunice, are you? Now, you give a brief literature review. After the brief literature review, still talking about the content, talking about the body of the work. You can have all, all other subheadings that you feel will make your work better understood. Like we say, your work should be independently understandable. 
And like we say, you are going to be graded. So you do this work according to the outline, but you add more things that will fix your marks. So number four, you have other um, sub sections as you require. <laughs> Rhoda, please mute yourself. Now, number five, depending on what you are working on. If you are working on exclusive breastfeeding, I will find out that there are pictures, probably pictures of how to fix the baby, how to keep the baby, how to support that baby. You put the pictures there to make your work experiential. And thereafter, you conclude and you put your references. Hello. Hi. Hi. Please, I want to hear reactions from you as we continue. Yes, Sandra. Is there anything you want clarification on? Because if you don't ask questions now, by the time you start your presentation next week, you will find out that you will not do what is supposed to be done. Sister. Yes. Please, I would like to see the first page that you presented on the arrangements of content. Let's see. Yes. The page is about up. the uh, sorry. The uh, this thing. The subsection. Can you please read it again? The what? Right. Oh, Other subsections. Other subsections. Yes, sister. Uh, when you're talking about breastfeeding, we are using that as illustrator because we've been using it since we started. Breastfeeding, hand washing, and all that. This morning, we started with breastfeeding. When you have given your introduction, you have given your objectives, you have a literature review that is brief. You now start talking about uh, what things. The sub-sections could be um, um, advantages, that is a subheading, disadvantages, that is another subheading. And if you have your time, I'm just giving you more illustration. You may even talk about factors that hinder. Provided you are focused on the topic you are handling. Hello? Hello, sister. Is that okay? 
Yes, sister. Thank you very much. So those are the subsections as required. If you don't require them, no problem. But all I am trying to say in this classroom mm -hmm. level, it is going to be graded. Seminar presentation is going to be graded. <laughs> I, I am not sure yet whether this academic a writing and maybe free seminar, you will write mm -hmm. an exam. But I know that seminar presentation should carry 100 marks, that's the presentation, but it will carry 70 marks and your continuous assessment will take 30 marks. So, when I talk about continuous assessment, I'm talking about your mid set. And thereafter, I think you will write an exam. Last set did not write. I think it's because they just started. So, if you have pictures to make your work, your work experiential, please you do it. And then you conclude. Just write your conclusion and your references. But if you want to talk about projects, um, uh, re research projects, you have to put a summary and then you conclude. But in this one, you just conclude. But it's the outline for the arrangement. The body of the work could be called the content of the work. Today, we are going to spend time to talk about the organization. Now, preparation and participation. It is important to note that seminars frequently require the presentation and the presenter to read well. You have to read one. In other words, you must do an in-depth research using your own time before the presentation. I have okay. stressed that I am stressing. Now I won't stand. I will not charge me. Who are you by fashion? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. some people refuse to mute so that they will distract us in class. So you must understand that giving a topic to discuss is not what you just jump up and you come discussing it. It requires you to read well. That's why I say here, read materials. Do a research on your own, researching facts. And where can you do the research? In the library. You can use books, but it's better in the library. And e-library is cheaper, where you can stay at your own convenience, and you do it. You do it on your own. You research, you write, you read, and reread. I am putting this here to re-emphasize that reading and writing an academic paper takes time. Not only can this preparation take extra time, but a lack of preparation can actually lessen the quality of the seminar. 
The reason why I am saying so is, as people come, ideally, they are coming in there to learn new things. They are coming in there to understand what they have not understood before. And so when they come in, they expect to hear something. When it is not there, the quality of the seminar is jeopardized. And what jeopardizes it? What makes people feel dissatisfied? Lazy learners. If you are a lazy student, you will not be able to contribute significantly to discussions and to the activities. And when that is done, an inactive environment is created, created for any lecturer that is guiding you and created even for the participants. Hello. Hi. 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 So I am trying to ginger you. To take this, I keep telling you that when you leave the university, when you graduate, you go with two things. When you graduate and leave the university, you go away from the university with two things. Number one thing is your certificate. And number two thing, is the knowledge of academic writing. Academic writing. Mm -hmm. Seminar presentation. By extension, research presentation. Because it is this cut that will make you bold. Most people generally have phobia. They stand people before people, they are confused. They do not know what to do. But I thank God we are midwives. There is no midwife that has phobia. Who can tell me why? What makes me so confident? I want somebody to tell me. Esther Anafi. Yes, Esther. What makes me so confident? That as midwives, you don't have that phobia. Yeah, who can contribute? Okay, Jen. Yeah, yeah, please, I think, I, yeah, I think because the midwifery cause actually makes us uh, autonomous. So mostly if you're in the rural area, you are the doctor, you are the midwife, you are the nurse and all that. So it makes us kind of bold without the doctors or any uh, help from a PA, we are able to give re re render care to anyone. Yes, Rebecca. Uh, sister, what I also contribute is that as midwives, we are able to attend to so many difficult cases. We are able to manage them and then they survive. So I think that we are so much brave to be able to take our own decision if there is no a doctor. Thank you. Please give both of them a round of applause. Your hand was up. I interrupted. Yes, Esther. Sister, please. What makes me confident is that as me being trained to become a midwife, um, it's a lot of achievements. 
this is because I get myself, um, I'm, I'm at a place where a uh, lot of women lack knowledge about their pregnancy and then pregnancy stages. So me being a midwife who have studied and been registered, I, I am proud that I, I, I am there to assist all women who are pregnant to get into labor and then perpetuum safely. So this is yes. what makes me confident. And then uh, uh, this is what makes me confident because of the knowledge that I have acquired in helping of pregnant women. Thank you very much. Give her a round of applause. Yes, thank you. As midwives, uh, Linda, you have something else to add? Yes, please. I wanted to add that most of the times as midwives, our cases are always emergency, emergency. So the emergency nature of the cases that come to us has made us very competent to be able to stand in crowd and then deliver our messages. And secondly, because all our procedures are practicals, 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 you are, you are doing and then someone is looking at you. So it makes us very confident to stand in crowd and then deliver our messages. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But the emergency area is not here. Remember that as midwives, you are exposure, particularly you, the practicing ones. Like all of you have said, you face the public in the service area, you face the public at home. They come, they go. They want one need or the other. They have one explanation, they are requiring one information or the other. Apart from that, you always, every week, give antenatal talk. Based on that, you are bold. You can face a crowd. But be that as it may, that boldness will be enhanced by the power of knowledge. And this one course gives you that knowledge. What is the knowledge? The knowledge that you need an information, you know how to get it from the next. You don't have to wait for somebody. A midwife, after this course, will not be able to tell somebody, please write this thing for me. Because you know where to get the information. You know the skills of writing. You know that for you to be able to present something that is independently understandable, you have to go into the field yourself. Get into the archives yourself. Dig out the facts so that you know exactly what you want. You are talking on exclusive breastfeeding. You concentrate on the facts of exclusive breastfeeding. You will not just begin to write breastfeeding, which will take you to the traditional breastfeeding. No. You know that for you to do anything, you must, anything that is presentable, you must be focused. And for whatever you are doing, to be focused, you must have objectives that will direct you to be focused. And so I keep telling students the same thing each time I teach this class, 
this cut. That's what I say. The same thing with the home. If you do not have the knowledge, your husband may be there, not as educated as you are, and might have friends, and a particular topic is brought up and he needs help. If you don't get the skills I am giving to you today, you will shy away. But when you acquire the skills, all you will just say is, what did you say? Okay, you need this, you need that, just give me time. Let me come out of the kitchen. My phone is charging. Let me come out of the kitchen. I don't have data, I will recharge. I'll get into the net and I'll bring it out. And by the time you bring out the facts, you will be happy. You did. I keep saying it and I am repeating it. As you graduate, you're going out with two things the certificate and this skill. It is this skill that will expose you in your workplace. Oh, yes. And I know. I don't know what obtains here, but I know that everywhere when nurses, practicing nurses want to go and be alone themselves, they may not be sponsored. They may not be allowed to go. They hide and they go. But when they, uh, they graduate, the way you contribute constructively in meetings, you will just sit down one day and they tell you, ah, the child is not, the number one nurse is looking for you. Uh -huh, but I'm in the rural area. So yes, who wants you? They say, you, 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 you. I said, I want you to write a letter, a paper for me. I, want, I, want, I need to present a paper somewhere. And if you don't get these skills, you will disappoint yourself. Hello. Hi. 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 If you do not acquire these skills, if you make these skills like any other lecture you are receiving, all you will do to yourself will say, ah, Professor Duke said it too. We thought she was only talking it because it is the lecture she is teaching. You know, human beings are like that. When you are telling them something, they will think you are selling it out for your own interest. But that's not so. Having said this, let ask question. I am particular. I get emotional when I teach this. Because this makes people begin to envy you for nothing. After all, did we not go to that university together? What makes people always talk of Asabe Asabe? You went to the university together, but you refused to get the skills. And Asabe did. I'm still waiting for your questions. I don't want to talk too much. Ask questions after today. As I finish now, we are going to arrange our seminars how they are going to be. So please ask questions. If there's anything you do not understand, ask questions. And if you happen to love yourself to get the text, read it cover to cover. What you don't understand, Professor Duke, is only a distance through. Just dial a number and ask. Yes, Clara. Priscilla. Prof, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. Please, uh, I want to know if we have um, a specific number of pages we are uh, we're supposed to be in or something like the pages we are supposed to use for <laughs> thank you huh? 
Can somebody in the class answer that question? Can somebody in the Sister, class? Sister, please. Yes. Sister, please. You said seven to ten, and it should be submitted. And it should be seven to ten pages between seven to ten pages, and it should be submitted a week before the oral presentation. I did say about seven to ten. That is the truth. And I said for departmental seminars or institutional seminars, you may make it a little bit more elaborate. But by reason of your size, your classroom size, I will ask that you limit yourself seven to ten. Um, by the time you get cover page, title page, table of contents, apart from the, those ones, I will ask that the body of the work should not be more than five slides. But the body of the work should not be more than will five slides be too small? The truth is, when you know what you to be, you will have just the outline, as we say. You have just the outline and the rest you are talking. So, by that question that you have asked, we talked about seven to 10, but let us understand that the cover page, title page, table of content, that's three. The pictures, four. Conclusion, five. References, six. Except maybe you we want to put the references along with the conclusion, which will not be okay. So there are six there. If the body of the world is five, that will be okay. Any reaction to that? Thank you, Prof. You're welcome. Risk and expectation. Seminars may not involve politics. Linda, you are not yourself. Yes. Yeah? Yes, bro. Please ask the panel whether uh, are we to choose the topics or the topics will be given plans. You say you are asking whether what? The topics for the, uh, the seminar were to be given to us. Um, Can somebody answer that question, please? We are using our research topics. You said. <laughs> 
Hello. So I'm making noise. I can't hear. You are asked to work in seminar and research project goals, please. You work in your, with your research project goals and you use your research project topic. We have been saying that from the beginning. Sister Comfort, please mute your mic. Well, I beg, I didn't hear what you said. The background is very noisy. That was why I asked the somebody from there be made a co-host. Because not all the knots comes here. So Linda, are you attending this class for the first time? Uh, Pro, for today, my network was just kicking me in and out. So now that is stable and I'm hearing what you are saying. Yes. But uh, the reason why I've asked is that I have been hammering on this. I've been hammering on this. You work with your research groups. How many are you in your research group? We are three. Three. We are three. We are three. You work in your group. That is why as soon as we finish now, we are going to share the goods. That is the modality, not sharing the goods, but the modality of what we are going to do or how we are going to do it. So you work with your group. Even though we have said, we did say that a classroom seminar group should be about 10, but they can five to 10, but they can be less. And for this one, we have decided that you work with your groups. The simple reason is to help you in your library search. When you get into the library, what is your topic? What topic are you writing on? Yes, Linda. Prof, please, uh, I don't, we, we don't, we, are, we don't have a topic yet. Wow. Well, how do you know you are in groups? You will assign the groups without the topics. We have, we have, yes. we, we were assigned without topics. We are three, three in a group, but no topics yet. Just Sir, please, we submitted our topics let for approval. Let me put up this call. Let me call Dr. China. Sister, please, we have submitted our topics for approval. Okay, you have. No, not, not all of us. Please, ah, which topic? Oh, we haven't submitted any topics. Topic. Topic. We haven't submitted any topics, please. please. Please, if you have submitted, we haven't submitted. Oh, about any topic. Hold on, let me see. We didn't even hear about topics submission. Oh, hey. hey, the general group, we hear of topics submission. They don't even ask us to select topics. Only ask us to group ourselves in the general group. We are not giving that chance. That's all. January we're not giving the chance to collect. We're not giving the chance to collect. Please, it's okay. 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 Let the clouds not be rowdy. It's okay. Let the clouds not be rowdy. I discussed this yesterday, but I thought you had been given because we kept saying you are working with your uh, research groups. I didn't know you have not been given topics. Okay, I, I will ask that you get, usually you get two topics each, isn't it? 
हेलो for it. We have here risks and expectations. Seminars may not involve quality speakers. I want you to take note that you're coming to present may not mean that you are a quality speaker. This is because most people attend to hear experts speak. Like we say, for seminar, you first of all, identify the area you want to talk about. Identify a chosen topic. So people come in there, you are talking about exclusive breastfeeding. And somebody interested, a student may decide, okay, let me go there and hear. The quality of experience can be drastically reduced if that speaker gives incorrect information. So you must be very careful. You will be presenting before your colleagues, some may know, some may not know, and they are there to learn. And that is why I told you that you must do an in-depth library to get correct information. And that is why I told you that when you write, you have to read and reread. Expunging irrelevances. Expunging things that are not needed. Points that are not required. Because you may go in and you pick words that, oh, okay, oh, this is an information. But when you write and you start reading over the word, you find out that what you have put there is incorrect, it's irrelevant. But that topic, you expunge it. Additionally, expectations that the seminar will be a quick fix for educational or business issues can result in that expectations and a feeling of wasted time. I, I would have used my time better. 
I thought I was going to get information from that place, only for me to go there and I wasted my time. I didn't have relevant facts that I required. For this, maybe I should have put my name there. I would suggest you doing your own careful research in regards to a seminar's benefits and credibility. Decide on your own that my presentation is going to be beneficial to the audience. And there will be credibility in the presentation I make. Remember that apart from the examination grading, when you will be graded using, who can tell me the three areas you are graded? Is that Constantia? Or say, or say, is she in class? Or say, Constantia, are you in class? Miriam Adu, are you swallowed up by network? Can we hear you? I want somebody that has not talked. What about Miriam Abu Bakar? Abu Bakari? Okay, who can answer? Let's please the question. The three areas you are going to be graded in. I told, what is your name? Nyameshe, your hand is up. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You said the grading is based on directed presentation, oral presentation, and participation in the discussion. Please give me a round of applause. Thank you. Now, these are the areas you're going to be graded as a student. But from this slide that we have here, risk of the parts of the presenter and expectations on the part of the audience. Nobody says you are going there as a very high public speaker, no. But everybody is saying you should have mastery of the topic you are going to discuss. If you do not have that mastery, people's expectations will be dashed will be crushed. <laughs> and then we leave that place with a feeling of wasted time. I say it and I say it again. Irene, Afia, meet yourself. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 I am talking the same because I know what I am talking about. Bye.
Another thing I want you to know is that when you do not prepare well, we will start. Begin now to learn how to share screen because you will share screen. I will not share the screen, but you will share the screen. Eunice Coleman, who sold this class to you? Hello? Hi. If you Hi. Hi. well, and you are to present for five, eight minutes, in eight minutes, in five minutes, you're done, and you have given what you're supposed to give, giving time for questions and reactions. And I want to beg you, please, when somebody is presenting, listen to the presentation so that you may have constructive contributions. Because this presentation that you are going to do differs from the other one. You are going to use your research topics. And the discussions the additions, the subtractions will help build your project topic. So that you leave there, going to write your project work will just be, what will I call it? There will be no problem. It will be a walkover. After all, you have done it. Like students will never appreciate a lecturer. But in this one, if you do it well, you will say, oh, thank God. With this now, I have already done my live research. My literature review is intact. Please. I have asked a question there. It's a question. But me, I am saying, you have questions. Ask all the questions you need to ask so that when you leave, you will know exactly what is expected of you. Rita. Ma, please, um, I just want some clarification from uh, our class rep. It's like the research, you know, the January batch is like we've not been given topics. So I don't know, are we going to choose our own topics? Or because it's only I get bad, I'm aware they've given the topic to do the research, but our bad January group, I'm not aware. So in case maybe they've given and some of us are not aware. If our rest are around, then they should draw attention because me, I can't remember anything. What did your class rep say? Ma, please, uh, stop for uh, my told that they are right. There are many. Hello. Sister. Hello. Yes. Sister, please, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, we've not been given any topic. We all, we've only submitted our list to the head of department, but we've not been given our topics yet. You submitted just the list without the topics? Yes, please. To Dr. Jenna. How do you get topics? <laughs> we thought we will be given the platform to submit our topics to them. And then they go through and then tell us whether they are okay or not. But to date, we've not heard anything from them. So that is why we've not been able to submit our topics to date. Okay. Jane. 
Sister, please, I want to uh, understand something, please. So how in the address group, uh, we're given the platform to write our topics and which is uh, submitted, but we have not received anything from it. So from the presentation that we are supposed to do, it is out from the uh, research topic that we gave out, that's how, how we get our presentation. So after the presentation, uh, I, I heard you talk about the project work. I was asking uh, from where will we get our project work? Is it from the presentation that we have already presented or it will be from a different topic or what? Can you please uh, clarify something for me? Okay. Thank you very much. I have talked, Bezina, your hand is still up. Yes, ma, I'm based on what the staff was said. No, I now want to find another we've not been given the topic. No, like how are we going to write um, and do the presentation as to say the okay. seminar? Um, I had said earlier when Linda asked a question, I was it Linda who asked or somebody, and I said. I started saying that since we started this course, that ideally seminar topic should be different from research project topic. But seeing that you have no time, we suggested that you use your project topic. Using your project topic to write and present your seminar is like doing a mock exam. The mock exam you are going to do is in five of the main exam. Is it not so? Yes, sister. Yes. You use your research topic. You go in for in-depth language. When you come out of the library search, you extract facts from there and write your seminar. When you have finished with your seminar, the contributions, the questions that will be asked, the discussions that will be made in your seminar presentation will help facilitate your writing and perfecting the writing of your project's topic and even the presentation. Because you have started writing on it, you have your literature on it, you have presented on it, questions have been asked, reactions have been put forth. You have to find questions that you expect that will be asked. And when you have done that, you will write the project with ease. Hello. Hi. 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 Do you understand what I have said? Do I repeat oh. it? Bro, please, sister. Please come again. Yes, sister. Let us assume you are writing again. You are writing on breastfeeding, exclusive breastfeeding. I'm giving example. You have done your topic is exclusive breastfeeding. How will I frame? Somebody frame it to a researchable topic. Okay. 
expressing breastfeeding hindrances or advantages and hindrances of exclusive breastfeeding in Malaysia hospitals. Hello. Hey, you, uh, heard uh, you have heard that topic, isn't it? Did you hear what I see? Yes. Good. Sister. Yes, sister. When you come to write a project, what do they call it? A seminar. You are just writing on exclusive breastfeeding. That is a seminar topic. But for a research project topic, you are writing, maybe you are saying experiences, assessment of experiences of inclusive breastfeeding in dementia hospital. When that topic is like that, it has to be, you're looking at it, maybe you say LCM advantages and hindrances. But when you are talking about a seminar topic, you're just talking about exclusive breastfeeding. The advantage here is that you have gotten into uh, the library to do the library search. In library search, you have gotten all what you want about exclusive breastfeeding. And so when you come to present, you are presenting on exclusive breastfeeding. Your objectives, you may want to help yourself further and you say you want to look at advantages Certain the advantages of exclusive breastfeeding on the mother and on the baby. You want to determine hindrances. Those are the subsections that somebody asked about. So exclusive breastfeeding. But you are not tying it because it is not a research. You are not tying it to any community. But when you are done with the seminar, you have presented it, you have been graded, you take the knowledge back to your project and write it. You're still not sure. Please, somebody who understands it, translate it into it. Hello. Hello. Oh, so are you saying something? Rebecca, so are you saying something? No, sister. You say hello and I say hi. No, okay. Please, do you still not understand? If you choose two different topics, you won't have time. And so we decided that you use one topic. Are you still confused? Yes, sister. So, sister, what is the confusion? Pro. Yes, please. Please, for maybe let me say this for our clarification. So, it means that we are, if we use our research topic, we write it as a research at the same time as a seminar presentation. Then after that, the seminar presentation, we will submit it for presentation and then the aura. And we'll still keep that one 
ask our research and submit it as a research to our research supervisors. Yes. Thank you. Let me understand. Let me answer that. Let me explain further. The arrangement for seminar is different from the arrangement for project, research project. Do you understand that? Yes, sister. Do you understand that that same topic you put the mini arrangement for seminar and present. Then you still take those facts back to your research and use the arrangement for research projects. Do you understand that? Exactly, Sister Wen. Do you understand that in seminar, you will not have chapters four and five? But you will now go back and develop an instrument for collection of data, which you will eventually analyze and discuss for research projects. Do you understand that? Hello. Hi. Hi. Research project. You will need a questionnaire. You um, will need focus group discussion. The questionnaire will be based on your objectives. The, uh, the items of the questionnaire will be based on your objectives. The items of your focus group discussion, depending on the method you are using, will be based on your objectives. After you set out the, the research topics or you, uh, the research instruments, you gather information you will need to analyze. That is why I told you that for uh, yeah. uh, what do they call it? For, uh, uh, yes, uh, presentation is Sister Larry, please mute your mic. Have you seen the second bullet? Arrangement of seminar paper is less detailed than arrangement of research projects. Have you seen that? Yes, yes sister. Yes, so you are using the same topic, but you will not need to go to the field. You will not need to have focus with discussion for seminar. You will not need to do analysis for seminar. I am taking this time, and that's why I said ask questions. Is that clear now? Does that mean that you see the research topic, you attach the facility in, in which you want to 
take your research. So does that mean that with this seminar, you just omit the name of the facility? Let's say the breastfeeding we are using as an example at Kwadaso Government Hospital. So with the seminar, you will not attach the field, the name of the facility to it. No. For seminar, you are just discussing the topic. While for research project, you are carrying out a research in a particular environment. Hello. Hi. For seminar, you are discussing a topic. Trying to provide solution. Hello, Prof. Your hand was up. Ralph, you muted yourself. I did not. <laughs> yes. Apple. Hello, Prof. Yes, I want to find out if. Writing a research proposal is different from writing a seminar. Is it the same thing now, or there is a difference between research proposal and writing of a seminar? In research proposal, you will write the guidelines as you are given, but you will stop at chapter three. The, uh, the, the guidelines are different from this. In research proposal, you will have to go talk about um, ethical considerations. You will also state the analysis with which you will use when eventually you go to the field. But for seminar, you do not need that. Seminar, you are out to educate people or to give information. To be able to use that for your audience, to use that information to solve something. And that is why you don't go to the field. In research, you have a burden, you have a problem. In research pro a proposal, you have a burden. This thing is not well done in Kumasi. How can it be done well? What, what could be the reason why it is not done well? What will we do? to make it well, that is research. And because of that question, what can we do? What will we do to make it work, to make it well? That's why you go to the field. But in this, in this uh, uh, seminar, this thing 
People need to get information about this thing. They need to know that this is how this thing should be done. They need to know that this is what this thing really is. Yes, Dauda. Sister. Yes, please. So does that mean that if you choose a, a, a particular topic, which means whatever that it entails, you have to say, you Come have to write about please, it. Please repeat what you say. I mean, uh, yeah. like if you choose a particular topic, which means whatever that particular uh, topic entails, you have to write about it. Or it's like, uh, uh, le let me say, uh, this thing. Uh, exclusive breastfeeding. So if it is exclusive breastfeeding, or you'll be writing about how the person should handle the baby and then, uh, uh, no, sorry, how the exclusive breastfeeding is supposed to be done. Yes, if it is exclusive breastfeeding, you focus on exclusive breastfeeding. What exclusive breastfeeding is, how the person can handle the child, the advantages of exclusive breastfeeding, the disadvantages if they are. That is for seminar. For research projects, the people in whatever hospital you choose, do not do exclusive breastfeeding. Why don't they do exclusive breastfeeding? What could be hindering them from doing exclusive breastfeeding? So you want to find out how many people practice exclusive breastfeeding. When they practice, what was their experience? Why do they not do it? Maybe a few people have done, or maybe many people have done. You analyze, but in this research seminar, you don't analyze anything. Okay, sister, thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, so please, uh, this is a clarification. Uh, per your explanation right now, which it means, uh, per what I understand, it means that when you are doing a seminar, you don't associate it to maybe any group of people or a community, but in research, you do so. You don't associate it to a community. Yeah, like in uh, writing a seminar. You don't you don't localize it to a society or, or a community. No. But, but in research you do so, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, Vera. Vera, yeah, your hand was up. Sorry, sister, it was on in time. Yes, sister. Please answer me. Do we now understand yes. it? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. The bit clear. Yes, sister. The bit yes, clear. Sister. What is the bit that is not clear? In research seminar, you do not attach it to anywhere. I mean, in, um, uh, in what do they call it? In seminar presentation, you don't work in a community, you work with the topic. In research program, you a uh, project, you work with the topic, you work with the community. In seminar, you don't need any analysis. 
in research topic, you need to do analysis and you need to do a discussion. And you need to marry the literature you, you do in seminar is brief. The literature you do in research is broad. Because when you are discussing in research, you have to marry your discussion with previous findings. While in seminar, you don't do any such discussion. You only give literature that you have reviewed to make it academic. But you do not do discussion that you need to marry the two. You have nothing to do with chapters four and five. And in chapter three, the difference is that, in fact, research seminar, the uh, in, seminar presentation does not come with chapters. The other one comes with chapters. You just want to confuse yourself. There's nothing to confuse you. Please, Prof. I'm listening. Prof, please, yes. um, in seminar, does the audience matter? Is it in seminar the research? The audience, the audience, does it matter as it is in um, research? In seminar, you have an audience like your class. Yes. In seminar, if it is a departmental seminar, you have audience. First is members of the department, which comprises students and lecturers. But in a, a research project, you are, if you call them audience, is your examiner. In a, a seminar presentation, there is a discussion. The audience participates in the discussion. In project, uh, research project presentation, your discussion is with your examiner. Anybody that is there will be a student who wants to come and see. And left. In research projects, you are not giving information. You are not educating. You are defending what you did. And the education or research seminar will be much later. Hello, our time is up. Hello? Hi. 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 Hi, sister. I don't know if you have been able to understand anything. There's no Please, can you throw more light on the last statement that you did? You said. I said in a seminar, you have an audience. You're giving information. Questions will come from the audience that will ask you questions. It could be an institutional seminar, like Gary Sutton having a seminar. But in research presentation, you call it presentation, but it is actually a defense. You are defending what you did. And a question will be asked, how will you educate the public what you have done. How would the public know? How will they be educated? But in seminar, the people seated there are the people you are educating. Yes, sister, thank you. I will get to Gina now and we will get in touch with you people through maybe your um your reps. Thank you very much for listening.
Hello, sister. Please, before yes. you go, hello, sister. Uh -huh, please. Uh, please, before you go, can you please give us maybe next week? Can you please give us a sample of how it is written so that we can get that one? Thank you. What can you say? Yes. 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 Whoever is teaching you methodology must have given you arrangements of how you arrange um, uh, the research. This I'm teaching you seminar, and I've given you how you re uh, arrange uh, uh, this one. Yes, sister, thank you. Okay. When you are given arrangements for uh, the uh, research projects, that's how you keep it side by side. There are differences. This the other one is very detailed. This one is less detailed. Thank you very much. I go to prepare another lesson now. I have another lecture now. Thank you. Thank you. Sister. God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.